I appreciate this opportunity uh, to uh, introduce uh, for some of you who may not be so familiar with our College of Veterinary Medicine because we are um, a very uh, ready for collaborations. We already have some through a, a number of colleagues in engineering. But I want you to remember research at cvm.msu.edu. I'm the only Vilma on campus. You could easily find me that way as well. So um, let's see. Um, uh, the Veterinary Center is a real working hospital. It is a medical center. We have two service units, a, uh, one that sees about 30,000 patients every year, and a very large diagnostic center that you see on Beaumont Road going to out of campus. We have uh, associations with, uh, closely with the basic science departments, but we have our uh, clinical departments, which don't mean much until you perhaps look at what they do. The hospital, as I said, is a very uh, uh, active hospital. We have over a thousand referring uh, veterinarians to us. What that means is that we serve as a, a, a tertiary referral center, so our um, veterinarians are highly specialized. They do do uh, general practice as well, but that's not the bulk of our work. It's really um, uh, a lot of specializations. And here they are. So from everything from pain management to uh, uh, cardiology, uh, dermatology, internal medicine, interventional uh, radiology, neurology, oncology, ophthalmology, um, surgery, and uh, two very interesting animals, uh, as well as your very good companions uh, we uh, service. So many of these faculty are uh, academicians, so they have research programs, but they're also very interested in collaborative research. So in terms of, um, sorry, so in terms of uh, patient side diagnostics, especially for example our um, emergency uh, uh, colleagues, uh, we just uh, opened a new emergency uh, center about two years ago to the tune of a few million dollars and uh, they are very interested in rapid diagnostics. They cannot uh, send uh, just as a, a, a human patient coming into the emergency room. The turnaround time is critical for the success of uh, uh, of the uh, survival of the patient. So uh, there are many opportunities for instant uh, microfluidics. We have relatively, some of our animals are very big, but some are quite small. So we, we have many, many needs that I think collaborations could uh, uh, enhance. Our cardiologists, our interventional radiologists are very, very highly skilled. So they already have some collaborations, but I think that the potential is enormous. So I wanted to take this opportunity uh, to have a chance to, um, to introduce um, them and to, for you to keep them in your mind. So we also have a, a training uh, center for dairy professionals. It's a farm with, uh, it's a working farm, but on it we have about three faculty, four faculty, and uh, it is a working farm. So we, we do run some uh, experiments and studies there to benefit the uh, agriculture sector, the dairy professionals in particular, but that is another very good uh, real life situation which we can take advantage of. Um, so we have multiple areas of expertise with highly collaborative faculty. We have uh, the infrastructure for collaborative research. We do clinical research, preclinical research, and basic science research. And we have an increasing emphasis on uh, preclinical and clinical trials. So I do want to introduce one new faculty member who unfortunately had to be out of town today, Andrew Hoff. Uh, he has just joined our department about um, uh, eight months ago or so. And he's in our large animal department, but he is, um, he has many, he wears many hats, sorry. Uh, so he comes to us from um, uh, Eco Health Alliance and Columbia University most recently, but he is very interested in spatial anal analysis. His focus on, is on public health and monitoring uh, infectious disease movements. Uh, some of his most recent work was on Zika virus and predicting where it would occur next. So that's uh, sort of, he's a big, um, a uh, modeler and a spatial science person, but uh, with a focus on, on, on public health. So please uh, do reach out to him, and I know he will be reaching out to some of you. 
So um, he, he, among others, is very much looking forward to working with you. And please do call on me if I can facilitate things any, in any way. So I will end there, and thank you. Thank you.